Guyana en Suriname willen een eerlijke en gelijke kans om de nieuwe vondsten in de olie- en gasindustrie te ontwikkelen. President Chandrika Persat Santoki zei gisteren bij de opening van de Suriname Energy Oil and Gas Summit and Exhibition dat er geen dubbele standaarden en geen extra voorwaarden moeten zijn. De twee landen moeten deze vondsten goed beheren om de economieën verder te ontwikkelen. We must manage this new fund oil and gas discoveries well and effectively to steer our economies to the next level of development and delivery of common goods in a sustainable way. We must secure the lives of our next generation. Our natural ecosystem, including oil and gas, is God-given, so it cannot be claimed or owned by any government or any political party. It belongs to the people of the nation and they should, be, and they should benefit from the wealth that be, that's being generated. We have the responsibility to protect the good use of these resources. The exploitation of oil and gas will be conducted on an environmental friendly manner based on the international principles and standards. Het Surinaamse staatshoofd haalde verder aan dat de inkomsten uit de olie- en gasindustrie gebruikt zullen worden om te investeren in huidige en toekomstige generaties. Furthermore, the income of oil and gas will be used to develop the transition towards renewable and green energy and also that this income should be utilized to diversify our economy and industry to strengthen government institutions and to invest in human capital in order to build a resilient community. We know that we can learn from our region's experiences and beyond how we can do this best and possibly more importantly to learn also what we should not do. President Santoki verrichtte samen met zijn Guyanese collega Irfan Ali de opening van de tweede Suriname Energy Oil and Gas Summit and Exhibition gisteren in Hotel Torarica. ATV zendt vanavond gelijk na het nieuws een samenvatting uit van de eerste dag van de olie- en